and five, four, three, two, one. This is Shot 30 Podcast, and I am Shane Newbert. And guess what? You've heard of Cher. You've heard of Prince. All those one-name people out there. Well, today we have one of my closest buddies in the studio. His name is Mike. That's and it. that's just it. <laughs> Absolutely. If you had to pick one other Mike to be, who would it be? Michael Jordan. Okay. I, I don't know. I think I might pick Mike Tyson just because, like, what a weird life, dude. Oh, he's so cool now. But Michael Jordan, too. I mean, I just feel like, dude, you're too fun of a guy to be, like, a complete dick, dude. He's my absolute favorite player of all time. Absolute. Any sport? Any sport. Any sport. I grew up, I mean, that's I grew up in the 90s, 80s, 90s, so they were on top. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I so, mean, and in, in this area, dude, there is nothing. Yeah. I mean, I remember my parents, they never even ever once watched a sports game, except for when the Bulls came on in the 90s. They said, everybody sit in front of this little TV. We had a TV like this big. <laughs> um, but uh, they were watching the Bulls. Everybody was, man. Oh, they were so good. So well, good. I think that my favorite... Oh man, if I had to pick a, you know, my, fa and you're not going to like this, but my favorite basketball player of all time, Reggie Miller, dude, I just, well, Michael Jordan hated him because he just talks shit and he's just in people's ears. Right. Like, oh, that's why I liked Lance Stevenson. Are you familiar with him? He was on the Pacers, um, like, uh, a few years back, like five, six years ago. I haven't watched NBA in 20 years. It's a different it's just, sport now. Yeah. And that's why I think, like, you know, like, when people talk about, like, Michael Jordan and LeBron James, I, I think they're both equally equally great in their own ways. You can't compare the two because they play in a whole different era. They're not they're not even the same position. Yeah. No, I, I agree with that. Um, I mean, I'll always say Jordan's the best ever. Mm -hmm. I'd, always, I'd probably put Kobe second. D damn, dude. That okay. killer instinct. He was, dude. I mean, he... I, I don't I don't know, man. I just got to ride on some numbers here. But, like, I, I don't know. You, you know, uh, Co Kobe's uh, wife, like, lost her mind the other day. She um, – well, do, people are saying now DeMar DeRozan from mm -hmm. the Bulls is, like, the face of the Kobe Bryant brand now. And she did not like that. Oh, wow. Yeah, I didn't hear any of that. You know, like, I mean, Kobe, oh, never mind, <laughs> never mind. Hey, Shot 30 Podcast is available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, CastBox, YouTube, all those things. Hey, um, please like, share, subscribe, tell your friends. But on this episode today, we're going to kind of go, we're going to be all over the place. You know, uh, Mike. Um, Mike. is, <laughs> he's a video game guy. He's been around, uh, a lot of like, uh, I would say what Bur can we say burlesque? Absolutely. Yeah. You've been around burlesque. You've been around stand up. You've been around all types of things. Mm -hmm. Um, you served our country. Mm -hmm. Yep. And, uh, and then, well, what I want to really talk about too is, you know, one of my, and, and dude, I, we're going to dive into, cause man, you you're you're a lifting guy dude and that's where we made like our first like uh connection as friends is yes, over was. over At icons oh yeah dude <laughs> yes and that's a weird bar what did they what did they have the picture of in the back uh they got all kinds of pictures Don't oh they... the homer and marge no oh, the... there's another one that's like real crazy if it's in the back back i don't I normally just hang out in icons not in iconics and all that do you do you think that they should put like um um, like pictures of Trump and Biden on each side of the room and see which side people go to take pictures of. That with? would be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Just to naturally see the flow go one way or the other. Yeah, yeah. It would be funny. You know what I actually saw the other day? It was a, a turnabout and it was put in, in like a state where they've never had one. And so then they did a time lapse of like how the cars were trying to figure it out <laughs> and no one can figure it out. Oh, well, I remember when they put it in in Davenport uh, on Middle Road way out there. Mm-hmm. I'm 20, 30, probably 30 years ago. And, and well, 25 years ago. Is that the one that's like kind of close to the country? Not country, but like outside of townish? Yeah, it's outside of town, but it's right It's right before like the Betplex and all that new little area. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, I see. Are you a guy, are you a guy that can parallel park? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like easy? Yeah. Yeah. See, I, I am too. Timory, like that's new. That's new. <laughs> that's a new world for. Do you. Well, with being overseas and stuff, did you, did you have to drive in the other side of the car? I never went overseas. Oh, okay. So yeah. I I didn't I didn't know if maybe that would even be something. Is that something that they teach? Isn't that only in like Europe? I have no idea. I'm the dumbest man on the planet. I've never left the country, so I don't know. 
we should just do it like one time, just you know, for shits and giggles. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, let's. Hey, the, if, if the whole we, way home, we're driving in the opposite lane. Yeah, or you could just ride your motorcycle backwards. Oh, that'd be better. Yeah. Well, um, so since you're a big motorcycle guy, you've got to be an Evil Knievel fan, right? Yeah. Oh, everybody, everybody's <laughs> an Evil Knievel fan. <laughs> I do. Was he alive when you were alive? Oh yeah. yeah. I have no idea when he. I don't. I don't think it was that super long ago, was it? That he like passed. Don? Yeah, I don't remember. Have you ever seen the movie Hot Rod? Oh, yeah. Fucking love yeah, it, dude. I like the party. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> or when he falls down the mountain. Oh, yeah. I, I don't know why, but it like brought out my like giggle instincts, like watching that scene because <laughs> it just goes for forever. It's literally four minutes long. Yeah. And I was like, it's genius. It's super good. That, that whole movie is hilarious. What what is your favorite, um, dude? You want to see what it's like to get asked six hundred questions in sure. the first four, five minutes of the podcast? Sure. <laughs> and, uh, what is your favorite comedy? Ooh, Ugh, man, that's that's really hard, actually. I mean, do you want to go like the old school comedy, like the Animal Houses? I, well, I think that it for it to be. It's, for it to hold up as still one of your favorite comedies, I think that it's still like you have to watch it and still think it's funny. Yeah. You can't look at it now and be like, "Oh God, this is so stupid now." Right? Like, I think like that about like Dumb and Dumber. You go back to watch it, like, "God, this is just really it's, dumb." Yeah. But I mean, a lot of people love it. Yeah, I mean, it's still entertaining. Uh, it's still pretty funny. It's just one you can't just watch over and over. Mm-hmm. So otherwise, it'll get really stale. I get that. So what was the animal? What? You said something about an animal? Animal. Yeah, you said so like Animal House or something like that? Animal oh, Animal Kingdom? House. Animal House. Is uh, that with Rob Schneider? No, no, no. This is 70s. This had John, Jim, John Belushi in it. The the one that's still, the no, one that the is one that, dead? Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. So, so that still holds up? Oh, yeah. Airplane? I've never seen it. What? Uh, yeah. Revenge of the Nerds? Porkies? I've never seen any of those. Oh, my God. I didn't have TV as a kid, man. We didn't have, like, I didn't get, I was watching VHS when people were, like, watching DVDs. I was playing Pong when people were playing PlayStation. Like, dude, I, we, we didn't have money, dude. Like, I was, I was, if, if I could have found one of those at Goodwill, I would have been all over it. I remember seeing a Sega for the first time. Um, and, uh, this kind of lead us right in, but they were playing a Sega Lion King. Mm -hmm. And I just sat there and I was like, you gotta be fucking kidding me! <laughs> Compared to the pong, it, oh yeah, dude! I just had a stick and a ball, dude. Oh, yeah. Like, and I was playing a computer, which was gonna Same beat thing. me every time. I have the stick and the ball. Well, the, I mean, you. Never mind. I'll we'll say. <laughs> but what was the very first game you ever played that like stood out the most? Uh, I mean, I played pong. Um, probably, I think it was ColecoVision had Donkey Kong on it. Oh yeah, that's a good one. And I love Donkey Kong. Uh, like, I've always liked it better than Pac Man. Mm -hmm. um but yeah i mean well, you remember up? sitting at i don't know if you're old enough but sitting at pizza hut okay. and you sit down in the arcade it wasn't the one you stand up it's when like two people could sit across from each other yeah yeah so you had like galaga and stuff like that dude and pizza, super good pizza hut used to have the best place mats with yeah. the pencils yes. like and you could play the games and mm -hmm. stuff oh and dude I, I remember so when i was in high school i used to live like we the school was right across from a pizza hut mm -hmm. and so we'd go over on lunch every single day it was five dollar buffet for all students right. so you walk in they'd have like 60 mountain dews and 60 pepsis Just already ready to go and so you grab it grab your plate toss your five and you're on your way but what i would do was i would pop over, open every single one of those red pepper flakes and the and the parmesan cheese and then i would just set them on top so everybody dude you would just hear it and then i i, I caught myself a band for a little bit from the pizza dude <laughs> i think everybody's done that with the salt shaker or pepper or something oh yeah but okay so you know what was the most like okay so that's like the first game that you were like dude this mm -hmm. this i remember what is the first one that you went wow what are we doing uh playstation one that like blew you away. Yeah. Yeah. PlayStation 2. Um, right when online gaming came out, there was a game on PlayStation called SOCOM. I don't know if you ever heard of that before. SOCOM? Is that like, that was an army game? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that. So that's like you had your headset, you had the mic come down, you had to push to talk. So you almost treated it like real military. Um, mm -hmm. You know, so it was online. I had a lot of good times on that. That, that one, that was my first online gaming that like changed everything. And is that before or after you 
serve, serve time. Like not serve time, but it was before. Like, uh, does that change the way you think about playing video games? No, it's a game. Yeah, like just a game. Well, d- I, I I do have another like another question. Does it would does it bug you when people talk about something like along the lines where they're like, you know, like this football game's a war? Is that something that bugs you? It's kind of annoying, but at the same time, I never went overseas. I never was in war or anything. Um, but you were prepared for it. Like that's the. I mean, that, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, day one. That's what you're kind of bred for, taught to. You know, taught to do whatever. Um, and thank God you didn't, because like, dude, you would just be like one of those guys that like stab a person like nine hundred times and then just lick the blade. That'd like, be dope, dude. Rambo S. Like, I know, I know. I like. That would be amazing. If, uh, if there's enough that I know about you, it's that I mean, you're literally just eating intestines without them without them being oh, cooked. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Intimidation factor for sure. Yeah, it's like when uh, runners say that when you like go to pass somebody, act like you're not breathing heavy. Mm-hmm. So, you, so then they're like, oh, how psych them out. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you're just eating. You're just, I don't know, man. That's crazy. Runners have psychological warfare. Y- yeah. Well, <laughs> you know, those canyons, dude. <laughs> they're fast. <laughs> they're, li- they're literally catching dinner on the way home, like stabbing a lion and dragging uh, it back. That place would be crazy. I couldn't, I could never fathom, um, like, you have to portion your water, like yeah. you know, like look at us, dude. We've got water bottles all over the place that we half drink and just pitch them in the trash. The we time. let the water run in the shower, and I mean, though they don't flush a toilet. Yeah, no, I mean we're very, very privileged in you know in America and you know Europe and other places. They're, you know, we're very privileged compared to people that are not up to this. Yeah, and like. You know, like shit, dude. Like I even think about some of those things, like um, the people that uh, like get all the like snakes and stuff in their house. Like they just crawl right in. Like, oh yeah, dude, no way. Yeah, I'm out. Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> you'll eat intestines, but if there's a yeah. snake crawling in, well, we're not in war. I ain't. Yeah, I ain't. Spiders, no. Fuck that too. <laughs> da- um. Okay, so I was gonna tell you my game that like changed everything when where I was like, whoa. Mm-hmm. It was one of the Final Fantasies, and I'd never played Final Fantasy. Mm. And I pl- put that thing in, and I just could not <laughs> believe. Like, it was just unreal. Like, it was unreal that this was on my TV. It was yeah. unreal how real these characters looked. And uh, actually, um, I have a friend who um, one of their – um, one of their close friends is one of the like writers for Final Fan for the Final Fantasies. That's a, that would be dope. And it, it, so there's a loophole. Um, they go to college for uh, jet. They go to college in the United States to learn Japanese. That mm-hmm. usually is their second major, and they'll do like a programming or gaming design or whatever as their first major. But then they get all these jobs because no one's bilingual from Japanese or English to Japanese. Mm. So boom, like Smart. Nintendo and companies like this, they want to hire you right away. That would be amazing. That'd be an amazing job. And dude, she she started talking to me in Japanese. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like this is. You ever play um, like Skyrim or Fallout? Uh, n- no, like see, I thought Skyrim was always like m- supposed to be like Minecraft. Oh. Yeah, no. and like I play. No. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a nerd, but no. you're not a Minecraft guy. <laughs> oh, I like Minecraft. Minecraft's actually fun. Actually, I can get the wife to play Minecraft, dude. Like when you play like hide and go seek, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, and me and Rock will geek out, dude. One day, one day she was like, "You don't play Minecraft," and I was like, "Yeah, I do." And and, and I was like, "I'll prove it to you later." And so I was at work trying to figure out how to put this damn thing on my phone, and like. <laughs> And then so I paid like $100 to give myself the best everything. So mm-hmm. she thought I was a baller at the game. <laughs> She's like, how do you to win? <laughs> yeah. Dude, it was like when I had the I had a Clash of Clans addiction. Mm-hmm. Same. Oh, oh, it was bad. Same. And then the, they have Rise of Empires now on the phone. Like I, oh. I download those games like that and I'll play it for like two weeks and I get bored. But Clash of Clans had me for probably four years. Oh, dude. I'm not like not – like, uh, not like I'm a I'm a bad person in any way. It was more as being a like younger guy mm-hmm. and just being silly and naive. But dude, I had made my whole map a giant swastika, <laughs> and, which is 
And so Young. that you, well, I mean, I was just being, I was yeah. an idiot, but uh, like that's what, that's what my, uh, yeah. And I, then I played Farmville for a while. I Never got addicted to Farmville. Oh, god, that one was stupid too. I like like phone games. I like like Candy Crush, just basic stuff. Angry Birds, still. You like uh, like something that consumes a little bit of time, takes mm-hmm. your mind off things. Yeah. What about? Now, I think that this ranks up there with one of the greatest games ever made. And honestly, I still think it holds up if I didn't feel like such a fucking loser every time Timory looks at me playing this game. But Harvest Moon. Harvest Moon. Yeah. I've never played it. Oh, dude, I'll let you borrow my Switch, man, <laughs> and you're going to fucking geek out. You literally just take over this guy's farm and you have to save it. And like, so there is no crops, there's no anything. You have to plant the garden and you have to check. Or like, if you don't water, mm-hmm. dude, it's dead. Everything if you don't dies. feed the dog, it's dead. <laughs> um, you get horses and chickens, the chi- they're, they're, they're dead. Done. Yeah. Um, and That's... so it's a lot of fun. But what it does is every time you leave the house, it's like you wake up, it's 8 15. Mm-hmm. And so let's say you got to run to town to go get food for you or the dog or for the chickens or something like that. Then it's two o'clock in the afternoon. And then, like, you get back, and so you got a fuck ton of chores to do. Like, <laughs> otherwise, uh, it's going to be the next day, and you're going to need to sleep in, and it won't let you wake up early. I don't want to do chores anymore. <laughs> yeah. That's why I got married. <laughs> dude, so I can hardest... game and do nothing. Hell yeah. Dude, and your gaming studio is sick. It's not bad. Um, so, what games are you playing right now? Um, right now, I'm on Overwatch. Uh, unfortunately, I need to try to get away from that because it's it triggers my anger. Oh, do you get pissed at people? Or what do they do to piss you off? You just, you know, everything is everything, buddy else's fault, and it's never, you know, you didn't die because of this, <laughs> because of yourself. You die because this guy is lagging or cheating, you know, whatever. Just the stupid shit. And I just get frustrated. Um, and I'm, and these I'm are a, people you don't know. <laughs> yeah, and I'm a big teamwork guy. So like, if I play online shooters, I want mics comms mm. so that way we can talk uh, oh yeah. yeah i'm i'm a nerd again i'm an old gaming nerd but power dude you've been a fucking bodybuilder power lifter doing all that type of stuff <sighs> i know but like i don't care what Not you try to switch like it you. into no 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 but, but like th- that's a weird like you have um a very your your base is very built differently than most yeah yeah now it, and i don't know if it's just like where it came from you know so i mean i don't know if you know or not Five years ago, I was like 300, 305 pounds, mm-hmm. totally different body shape. Um, and I got tired of looking at myself in the mirror. And you got and jacked, Every boy. day, I was like, I fucking hate you. I can't stand who you became. I mean, growing up, I was an athlete, baseball, mm-hmm. basketball, football. Boom, 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 every year. So I've always been an athlete. Uh, get out of the military, you know, you tear your knee up. So you get out of the military and you just stop doing stuff and get fat and work. Dude, That's what I, did. I, I mean, I, I, I know that feeling, man. Yeah. I'm trying to get rid of that feeling right now. <laughs> yeah. But not like, not, not, I was never in the military. I'm not, I wasn't, I wasn't stolen, no stolen valor. Don't <laughs> fucking come after me. <laughs> but, uh, no, and so that that is a good thing, though. Like, I mean, especially the fact that you're able to bounce back. And and I know you like to take some time off every once in a while, but dude, you're never slipping back into the hole that you were in before. No, I don't. I mean, I'll never go back to that. I mean, and you know, nothing against that. Mm-hmm. You know, if you're happy, that's amazing. But, I just know your mindset. Yeah, like, and I wasn't happy, so I had to change it. Um, no, I will never go back to that. And, yeah, I mean, I take – I'm always in my best shape in winter. It's really stupid. Oh, that, that's, it's really annoying. No, that's a really cool thing too because you, you're burning all those extra calories in the summer with the heat and, you mm-hmm. know, moving. And, you know, so like, I mean, it counterbalances itself. but It does. I mean, but you always want to have the – I mean, I don't know what we'd call it, a bikini body, but – Beach body, there you go. Uh, speedo body? Speedo body. Yeah. Banana hammock body. Have you ever worn a speedo? No. Not comfortable. I would not think so. Man, those guys those guys got some nuts to do that there's, because it's not comfortable. There's not enough room. Mm-hmm. So it's very uncomfortable. I could see that. I could see it being very, very, very uncomfortable. Ugh. I just chased fireball with water. That's but, nice. <laughs> yeah, you should change it with the Cayman Jack or something. Well, that one's signed. No, anyway. I've got no. I, actually, it's not signed. It's movies that someone was telling me about, and then I wanted to see them, and now I can't remember what any of these say. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so I have to watch back on the podcast episode <laughs> that they were on. But okay, so I mean, we're gonna. I mean, we're literally oh, whining and grinding, baby. Yeah, going back and forth. <laughs> um. So 
Well, with like lifting, was there like a person or thing? And maybe it could have been yourself that motivated you the most when you when you got that. Because I know that we've talked about it. You had some like struggles, mm-hmm. you know, lifting in front of other people. You wanted yeah. to be more of a private yeah, was, type of lifter. I was embarrassed. I probably think like a lot of people do that go to the gym the first time. You know, you look around and most people when you get there, you don't realize it or just normal people, just same as you. But and, they, you. and they don't know how this equipment works yeah. either, you know. But you got the meatheads, of course, so you always, like, get nervous. But, yeah, when I first started, I would go walk on the treadmill for 5 to 15 minutes, and then I would say my knee hurts and I'm leaving. Mm-hmm. And it was just embarrassment. Mm-hmm. So, and then finally worked up the courage to go, like, in the back room where all the machines are at, just the only machines, no free weights, no nothing, and kept going. Then finally I just said, fuck it, and go in the gym and figure it out. So... Yeah, well, one of my favorite things is so whenever I would get depressed, like Mm -hmm. I would have like, I mean, I had very elite level lifting partners. One of my lifting partners is now the world's strongest man of all time, of all time. Who? Dan Bell. He is the world's strongest power lifter of all time. Oh, numbers. Uh, Yeah, one thousand. Yeah, eleven hundred pound squat, um, nine hundred pound deadlift and six something bench jesus um he he when we were when we were together and we started out dude when he started out i didn't i mean i just walked in the gym and saw this guy who had lost a fuck ton of weight he weighed about 250 pounds and he had the biggest calves i've ever seen and he was squatting he was squatting like 500 pounds on his back and he was hack squat like half squat and he was not hitting depth at all and i was like dude like you'd be a fucking killer power lifter if you could just hit depth. And me and this other training partner, Riley, he was one of my closest friends. Um, I was like, dude, you got to see this guy. So then we all just started lifting together. And um, dude, it just, we watched it. He got better and better and better. And our friendship got further and further away um, mm-hmm. from power lifting. I don't know, you know, just big, big personality. Sometimes they just don't match. Yeah. I, bodybuilders, power, I mean, all the any professional Tier athletes has a little bit of an ego. Yeah, and see what he um, he kind of looked at it as like party time, and I kind mm. of looked at it as very serious. Yeah, and then also like I wanted to, I I, I got this name, lift, eat, lift, eat, sleep, trademarked, and then I was doing like taking videos of them. I was creating all these videos. I have a whole YouTube channel of all these videos that I made of just these guys because I was like, dude, this journey is going to be crazy. Mm-hmm. And like, look at where we're at. We're we're six months in, and we just all placed first at our first competition ever. And then um, things kept happening, and I ended up just moving away, honestly, more just to be alone from that. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was just lifting by myself, and I found the fucking demon, dude. Not they, I don't know what the demon was, but I just got so fucking good at powerlifting because mm-hmm. I was just in my own head. There was uh, the one time I wanted to be in the gym when it was nobody was there mm-hmm. because I was, I wanted to like, I didn't want anybody to see me in the state that I was in. You go to that place. Oh, bad. Yeah. And so um, one of my favorite days was my deadlift PR was 715, something like that. And I went into the gym at 11 o'clock at night and something – I didn't play music. There was no one. There was all OSB walls. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Ernie uh, – uh, oh, I forget his name. Pete, uh, his – his wife kept this gym open. It was a dollar a day gym. He passed away. He was an 800, 700 pound deadlifter Jeez. at 138 pounds. Yeah, he what? was Ernie Franz's training partner. And he could pull 800 pounds at 130. I think it was. I think it was 700. Yeah. St- I mean, still oh, 130 pounds. Yeah. I mean, it, it, he was a, a monster. And um, so I love that gym so much. It was all the old school weights. They were all yes. welded together. Yeah. Um, it was all OSB on the walls. The whole place was just surrounded in mirrors. The old school, like you have to tick over the um, scale, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And um, dude, I walked in the gym that day and pulled uh, 675 like it was 135. I wish I could pull that. But then I was like, my deadlift PO was like 705, 715. I was like. Fuck it. Yeah. Let's just throw seven twenty five on. And I just pull it and you can just see no head no music. It's dead sight. You just hear psh, and I just like drop it like Did and that then just you, happen? And then and then I did this. Like you just watch it in my face go, not done. And then I put seven fifty five on and pulled it almost the same way. And I just let out this celebration after I did it and I never said a word. It was just Yeah. 
You hit that big number? That's amazing. I mean, I've never competed, never did any of that, and I'm not at that level. But, like, benching 350 was pretty big. Oh, dude. And especially, like, dude, you're going a long yeah. fucking way, yeah. man. And yeah. that, was a, that was a paused rep. It was, a, like, a legit rep. Mm-hmm. So I don't bounce them. So. And, and see, like, um, that's the best thing, too. I mean, and I'm, I'm certain that you did because, I mean, we've mm-hmm. already talked about it, but – like setting goals like that where you just step by step can actually achieve your goals. Absolutely. Oh man. And that's what intimidates and scares people because they boom go, Hey, well this guy's benching 225, And then they go, well, I want to bench that. Mm-hmm. Well, your bench ain't even 135 yet. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta yeah. set realistic goals for yourself and start. Put the ego away. Yeah. You saw that thing I shared about Chris Hemsworth. Oh, uh, Maybe. It was Chris Hemsworth in real life and Chris Hemsworth in Thor. Mm-hmm. He weighs in Thor about 205 pounds. Yeah. They portray him with CGI to weigh about 260 pounds. He's yeah. five foot 11 or something like yeah. that. And so it's so unrealistic when people like said, like, I want that body type. Mm-hmm. It's impossible. He weighs, he weighs 200 pounds. Like mm-hmm. the way that, that and, and I'm not saying that that body, of course, with a lot of steroids and with like, I mean, dedicating your life to it. Yeah. I mean, Hollywood, I think we're all pretty sure nobody puts on, I'm trying to remember the role. Somebody said they put on like 20 pounds of muscle in like six months. And mm-hmm. it's like, that's, you're not doing that naturally. It's not happening. Uh-huh. Sorry. <laughs> that's why, that's why I like to, you know, like, I'm just going to take this moment in time to call out, you know, like the rock dude. Yeah. You're lying, dude. Yeah. There's no way. There's no way. Because look at his schedule. Have you ever, like, I've never, like, shot a real movie. I've been in, right. like, a stupid, I haven't been in a stupid extra. Like, uh, but, like, you're shooting movies. You own an NFL or, like, an XFL mm-hmm. football league. You yeah. have your own tequila line. You have all these things. And you're telling me. There's an energy drink, too. Yep. And you're telling me you have enough time. To maintain one of the greatest physiques in our world. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I mean, I know he has a traveling gym with Iron Paradise, I think it's called, uh, yeah. that he takes pretty much wherever he goes. I mean, maybe he's one of those guys that can function on four or five, six hours of sleep. <sighs> no, no. I, I mean, you can, but, yeah, but again, that, that, there's that probably ain't... something going in your. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> there's some, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's something going in somewhere. Yeah, for sure. And maybe it's just like, Maybe he's got the secret sauce like somewhere else. Like, dude, who yeah. knows? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, pass it along. <laughs> yeah, dude. Get my DMs rock. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know? Dwayne, if you're listening. <laughs> Dwayne. Uh, um, we'll be, oh, but like the other thing that I think is kind of silly that he does and people just eat it alive when he's like, I just ate 40 rolls of oh. sushi. Yeah. Oh, right. yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, he says like he – you can read his workouts and his diet plans and all that. And he has like one cheap meal a week. And uh-huh. It's like four pizzas, 20 pancakes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. He, and he, he's, he's done it for forever. And yes. people are just like, I don't see how this is physically possible. Right. You know who, you know who can do that? Probably Brian Shaw and like, oh. you know, Thor yeah. Bjornsson guys that are 420, 440 yeah. pounds and they can consume that much in one sitting. Well, yeah. They're like, 10, 20,000 calories a day. Yeah. And, and the rock is cl- claiming to out eat all of them yeah, yeah. in one meal. Yeah. yeah. And Fuck. these are strong men. I yeah. Doubt it. <laughs> yeah. So they would dwarf him. Oh, dwarf him. I, Actually, I think there's a picture. Maybe. I don't know if it was Brian Shaw. I don't know. I don't remember. Never mind. <laughs> Bad story. You know. Brian Shaw, he put on that one. Uh, they had a show on the History Channel. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was a great show with yeah. him and uh, Robert Oberst. Robert Oberst and yeah, Eddie Hall. Yeah, and Nick Best. Yeah, and Eddie Hall, he got his. Didn't he get his ass beat? He got oh, his ass by beat. Thor. Yeah. The, oh, yeah, that was bad. Yeah, and it was. Oh, yeah, that was a, a bit embarrassing. You know, like, he talked a lot of shit. Should we call him out both right now, dude? Ah. You'll fight Thor. I'll fight Eddie. More of our height, you know, just better for height. Yeah, that's fair. Um, you purposes. know, Eddie Hall's still 6'4". Yeah, I know. He's still my height. He's still a foot taller than me. <laughs> it's just Thor 6'8". Oh, it's so unbelievable. The fact that with, like, his role couldn't be better cast, you know, as just the the character of the mountain. Oh. You know, like, it, it it doesn't even have purpose. It really, truly doesn't mm. in, in Game of Thrones. 
but it's it played could've. so perfectly. Mm. I mean, by just a pure giant of a human being, oh. and the fact that everybody knew that that giant man is actually that giant of a man. Yeah, it it no made CGI that there. Yeah, it made that role something special. And I don't think I think he didn't. He played it from the second season on. I think it was a different one in season one. Uh, yeah, maybe. I think like, so. I uh, got caught. I got caught late in the uh, Game of Thrones game, but I was very yeah. impressed. Like, it just kind of had a weird turn at the end. Um, just, and I don't, I don't shut things down with like saying that they're just like an awful ending. Mm-hmm. But like, you left so many questions. Did you finish it then? Yeah. Oh, okay. Would you? Would you? Is it? We can't. It's too long ago to be spoilers, right? Oh, dude, way too long. Okay, right. and if you're that dumb, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> What'd you think about who murdered the Night King? I still say it. Like, okay, wait. Um, now that wait, that's when the he's the guy's brother, right? I, I had a really hard no, time following no. names. So the, the White Knight. Walkers. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, the leader of that that I start killed. Oh, okay. What'd you think about that? Her killing him. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't I thought it was, I mean, I'm telling you, I thought it was cool, man. Like, I liked it. I liked it. It was really, it was like really, I didn't see it coming. Right. Um, I also didn't see, um, I always get her name wrong, but uh, uh, Khaleesi. Like, Mm -hmm. I didn't see Khaleesi just destroying everything like that, dude. She turned into her dad, the Mad King, so. Uh Um, and uh, man, dude. That, That show is so deep, though. I used to, well, I still am, I'm a nerd. Like I'm still a nerd. The bastard dude, like the. <laughs> I watch highlights still, like Aya Stark or Jon Snow's kills you know, mm-hmm. throughout the seasons. Like 45 minutes, I'll just be sitting there chilling, watching Aya Stark kill people. And dude, Jon Snow, like, what a way to play like a broken, miserable person. Even though you know that they're like brave and wise, and yeah. you know that like this person just knows what it's like to be through hell. You and- got a sequel. He did? Yeah, they're starting. It just went in production. He's like the main. He, Kit Harrington took it. Like, yeah, I'm a nerd. I t- He took it to HBO and they picked it up. And he's oh. like producing it and everything. So, oh, it's not out yet. No, no, no. It's just getting started. Okay, because the, the, the House of the Dragon or whatever, yeah. that, that comes out next week. Yeah, but that's a thousand years prior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, But Jon Snow may be that. It's a direct, oh. right after, as soon as he walked through the wall, this is where this one's supposed to take over, allegedly. Oh, uh, dude, that'd be awesome. I, I have a, did you read the books? No, no, I don't read. See, well, people that uh, worked in a prison, they read. Well, I, I audio books. Okay. And it's because I drive a lot, mm-hmm. so I listen to a lot of Stephen King. My buddy Joe Fox, he is, uh, he's just a, a big old nerd like you. I mm-hmm. mean, you guys probably look into each other's eyes because he's 6'4", he's, I don't know, um, He's got more boobs than you. Trust me. He's yeah. You got. Pecs. You're not gonna call me titty boy, are you? No, and I don't even. <laughs> I hate it even saying that. Um, but Joe, he's just a slob. And let's just be honest, Joe's a slob. Sorry, Joe. I don't know you, but <laughs> Joe's. The I got best. your back, Joe. Um, but uh, he he re- has read all the books, so he has mm-hmm. a lot of things that he hates about the sure. show. Sure. Um, but he he's also too like I love geeking out with him because he's a big Star Wars fan and. Dude, that fire pit that you fucking shared today. Isn't that amazing? All of the Death Star. Yeah. Man. That's just going to be amazing. So you're a big you're a big Star Wars person or not? Um, I wouldn't say like super nerd on that, but yeah, I love I love the movies. D- have you watched all the new stuff? Yeah, oh yeah. yeah like yeah. Mandalorian, you've watched Obi-Wan? I have not I don't know what episode we're in. We haven't watched TV in so long. Uh, I haven't uh, what even episode those arcs. Oh, yeah, dude, what have Hey, spoiler alert, <laughs> fucking end of Ozark sucked. Did it really? Yeah, that one really bugged me. I know. Because it started so strong. Oh. I hate when people, or they when they make seasons go too long. Yeah, yeah. You know, the perfect way to end it, you know? Yeah, they did. I'm a, uh, I don't know, I, I love Ozark so much. I yeah. don't know why they, but me and, we haven't watched a lot of TV. Um, I think we're two episodes in Obi-Wan. Oh, oh man, just wait. Because they finally do Darth Vader the yeah. most amount of justice I've ever yeah. seen. It well, is unbelievable. I, I don't care about spoilers. So I like do, like when new Marvel movies come out, I'm, I'm already on the, looking for spoilers. I want to know who's going to die. Uh huh. No, so that way I can man up and not cry in the theater in front of my wife. Oh, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm just laughs> Count kidding. me out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just like, I don't know. I like spoilers. So, um, but yeah, I saw all the Darth Vader and them fighting and. Dude, did you see when he got like super, super? Th- when he stops the ship, 
Oh no, I haven't. I haven't seen all of it. But don't don't look that up then. Okay. Don't look it up. We'll just put a picture of it right here and let's attach. Hey Disney, let's get together. Hey, let's put the yeah. clip here without copyright, just yeah. so we can ruin it. If you watch this podcast back, maybe Disney will sponsor you. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> this isn't a Disney show. I've said cock about seventeen thousand too many times. Oh man, yeah. Well, they're all right. They're making a rated R section now. Yeah, Deadpool is supposed to be still yeah. rated R coming forward. Yep. And they're just said they're doing the Punisher. They oh, just picked up dude. the Punisher with John Berthold. Like, mm-hmm. dude, I love the that perfect guy. Punisher. And and what what was did you were you Walking Dead? Mm, no. See, uh, that's where I found out about John Berthold. Like, I watched. I think we watched the first season, but I don't remember. I know the ones the sheriff. The one was his deputy. The deputy was banging the sheriff's wife. Yeah, yeah, that was Shane. Yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah. was Shane banging uh, Rick Grimes' mm-hmm. wife. Yeah, yeah. But I never, yeah, I never kept up with that show. You mm-hmm. know, there's there's some stuff where it's like, okay, there's only so many zombies I can right, watch be right. killed. You know, there's only so many different characters that are so diverse that yeah. you can, you it, know, you're killing zombies. Yeah, and then you know, and then they played off like they killed that little Asian boy that everybody loved, and that was, you know, that's like the main thing that everybody knows. What's his name? Keegan or Negan or. Negan was Negan. yeah, that's who uh Rain Razor did a performance yeah, as the other day. That. that looked great. She looked yeah. At, yeah, she looked amazing. Yeah, the whole the entire outfit when she came out, I saw the pics on Facebook were really good. Mm-hmm. Really good. Yeah. And so if you were to ever perform burlesque as a as a character, who would it be? And not a loincloth guy, okay? Because yeah. I know you didn't like that. No, I didn't like that at all. Okay. Rain Razor. You would perform as Rain Razor? <laughs> I'd perform as Rain Razor. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think we would uh, I think we could really pull off like a Mario and Luigi thing. Oh, there you go. That's yeah. actually good. That would be fun. I'm I'm down. Dude. And I, then we'll get like a pipe. Dude, pipes, I mean, like, think about it. How fitting that would be. It is. Yeah. It is Because fitting. I cover pipes. Like, that's what I do for a living, you know? I lay pipe. Yeah, I know. So. But it, we're not just talking about plumbing. Yo, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was your dream job? Um, probably a uh, fighter pilot. Really? Mm-hmm. So when you had to leave the military, you didn't want to? No, I left medically. I tore my patella in my right knee. Mm-hmm. So... Um, I went in at 32. Okay. So I didn't go in young because I had kids real young. So my kids got to the point where I asked, you know, their permission basically to do this because I've always wanted to be in the military. And, you know, time's running out. They were good with it. But I was too, way too old to, for pilot or anything like that. So, you, yeah. So, so top, like Top Gun, that, that's, that's your shit? It's okay. It, top Gun's more of a drama in reality. <laughs> I think Top Gun's more of like trash because yeah. Tom Cruise sucks, dude. <laughs> I don't know. I just can't get over him as a person, man. I've watched all these videos. I'm not talking about the Scientology shit. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about the, him like vocally destroying people yeah. on set and people take and, – and the one – there was another person who did it that kind of – like I was like, oh my god. I thought this person would be like the nicest ever. Matt Damon is notorious for it really? as well. Yeah. That, that's – I can't. I don't like people like that. Man, dude, that's just, why I like Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves is like a nice, good dude. Hell yeah, dude! You hear nothing bad about Keanu Reeves ever. Mm-hmm. He kind of disappeared for a few years, but then he came back strong. And then with the stuff that he was like, all those pictures came out, and no one could ever find a picture where he put his hand on a person. Like, yeah. Every yeah. time he poses, he he'll keep yeah. he'll put his arm around, but he he won't yeah, touch he won't you. Touch. Yeah. Yeah. I think Keanu Reeves would be. I mean, I feel like he'd just be kind of like a dorky guy, you know. I think like, it'd be fun just to chill at a bar with and just shoot the shit. I, and, I, and, and he still rides the subway. Did yeah. you know that? Yeah. yeah. And I, I think he's a big motorcycle guy. I think he has a bunch of bikes too. But now, was it Keanu Reeves or was it Liam Neeson that lost their wife in like a very tragic way? Keanu Reeves. Okay. Um, John Wick. You mean? Oh. No, you're okay. talking in okay. real life. No, Liam Neeson's. I think first wife. I think in like a super tragic way, and they thought they would like skiing. Skiing was it when they were skiing? Is that what it was? Oh, oh, skiing. I thought you were talking about like sex stuff. No, 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 no. To go hard ski, no, dude. Keep, I was keeping it clean. Okay, I think. Uh, well, yeah, dude. I mean, that's a. Uh, I don't know. Maybe they both did. Who I don't know. Okay, who is who is your favorite actor of all time? Man, I'm asking oh, nine million questions. 
Favorite actor of all time. That's a toughie. Um, I mean, Keanu Reeves, you can't go wrong. Okay. I mean, I think he sucks as an actor, truly. Do you really? <laughs> yeah, dude, he's awful. I love him, but I think oh my he God. sucks. Like, I so think my- you're in the minority on that one. Oh my god, dude! Have you watched the Matrix? That's I mean, the new one. All of them. The oh f- yeah, the new one. I haven't yeah. watched the new one. I mean, I love the Matrix. Yeah, but dude, that acting is not good. He just waits. Oh, all right. What are we going to do? <laughs> you know, like, but I love John Wick, though. I mean, it's a it's a very cool story. Awful acting. Really awful. You know, he's like <laughs> like all of his gun techniques is actually legit. I know that's what's so impressive about him, but. That's all it is. It's just I'm not like going against you just to go against you. I promise you. It kind of seems like. I swear to you I'm not. <laughs> no, it's because also like I think Nicolas Cage is one of the worst actors of all time. I, but man, he's done some brilliant ass shit. He's he's not a great actor, but he's been in, in some amazing movies. Yeah. Dude, he plays himself playing himself in a movie. It just came out. Um, and I, I loved it. Really? Yeah. I heard about it. I got a... What was it? Do you remember what it was called? It was called like it's so tough being famous or something like that. Or, That's it, hilarious. I, I, yeah. That's hilarious. But it's it was it was hilarious. See, I think about when I think about pure acting, dude. Like I think about like Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, I mean, if you're straight, like for quality of actor, then yeah. I mean, Leonardo DiCaprio is amazing. And Gangs of New York is like one of my favorite movies. And for it to take the Revenant mm-hmm. for him to win a, an award is baffling to yeah. me because he is just brilliant seven pounds and uh pursuit of happiness are two of my top five favorite movies of all time and so like and i cried like a baby during both of those movies so will smith will forever be like in that tier. not the slap i you know i just if the slap is real if the slap is real you got a lot of traction if it is real Will Smith's a bitch. <laughs> I mean, dude. Will Smith is a big – I mean, he's like a 6'2", 210, 220 probably. Chris Rock's like 5'9", 150, yeah, 60 pounds. Yeah. And, dude, settle your beef off the th- – do you think that you would be allowed to get up at the Oscars if you were offended? And I'm not saying don't be offended. I'm not saying don't be right. um, disgruntled by – what he had said, I mean, his his joke to some, yeah, funny. To right. some, I mean, pretty weird. But the weird thing w- was like she's laughing, laughing, laughing. And then and then just like stopped when he laughed. And then, I, man, I don't know, dude. I yeah. don't know. But I, I could tell you um, I would not have said Will Smith just slapped the shit out of me. <laughs> I would have fucking <laughs> lost it. I think a lot of mental – health issues came out of COVID a lot and nobody that's kind of one thing that irritates me. Nobody, we don't take mental health serious enough at all. You know, I mean, I don't know what the numbers are. I'm assuming everything went up suicides and everything else, which is terrible, but, and especially men's mental health. Nobody ever cares about men's mental health. Did you see the UFC fighter? Um, yeah, Patty. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. What a – That's I, insane. I never watched that fight. I don't even know who this man was, and I clicked on a, a like just a video mm. of him. And when he said that, yeah. oh, man, it like hit me in a weird way. And I was like, damn, dude, good for you, man. Yeah. Thank you for saying that. Absolutely. I mean, I mean it's 2022, but guys still think they can't talk about stuff. And you need to because, I mean, you know, 22 veterans a day. I mean, just that's just that. And that's a whole other topic. Mm -hmm. You know, people need to get out and talk. And if you notice it to me, say something to somebody. And, well, even, um, oh, geez. Listen, I can't drink water with Fireball anymore, so I found a Crystal Light pack. There you go. (laughs) Hell, yeah. Now I'm going to need that half cracked water. (laughs) Is it raspberry ice? Um. Nah, it's Le- pink, pink lemonade. lemonade. Yeah, I'm going with the old school baller. There you go. Were you ever a lemonade guy? You sold lemonade on the corner or anything like that? Uh, I'm sure I did. Dude. I think every kid did that to try to get four dollars to go play Mario Brothers. Oh, dude, what we did was uh, so silly. Me and my older sister, we would go down to, uh, to the end of our street and uh, we would pick mulberries, and then there was a cherry tree, and then there was something else. Like I don't know, and we put them all in a pot. 
and just mush it all and then mix water with it, put a little bit of the sugar, and then we'd sell cups. And, dude, this shit was fucking gross. I wouldn't even <laughs> fucking drink it. And we were making good money right. just because people were like, I see you hustling, yeah. you know? Yeah. And that, that was before, like, hey, it cost me $6 in gas to stop and park the car mm-hmm. for the next 14 yeah. seconds. Yeah, yeah. Gas yeah. prices. Gas prices are crazy, dude. Super crazy. Yeah. It's, uh, it's insane. Yeah. I, I like, uh, I, I say this to my, uh, maybe this is insensitive. Um, I say this to my buddy, Justin Goldberg, Shane clip it if you got to, but like, I always say, dude, imagine how many of your family members would still be alive with today's gas prices. He's Jew. <laughs> <laughs> so there wouldn't be any gas chambers. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're sorry. Yeah. No, you're good. <laughs> Those are uh, my words, not yours. Hey, no, I mean, to me, comedy should not have much limit. Yeah, but it it it, it does, it does, and it will. Um, because we're in this weird world where th- there is no room for disagreement anymore. Anymore, no, it's not. it's it's. I believe this, and you believe this, so this makes you right, and this person wrong. But the uh, the one thing that is the big problem. It makes this person a villain and the other mm-hmm. person a hero. And that's not the case. And that should never be the case. No, it shouldn't. There isn't one side, dude, you and I can disagree on anything and everything, but that doesn't mean that we have to villainize each other for it. No, absolutely not. I mean, I don't care. Um, not to get like too deep in my past, but I mean, all of this stuff that I do anymore is all new to me. You know, most of the people that know me know this, that, you know, I was raised pretty strict Christian and I kind of stayed that way, sort of. Um, and then I met Stacy and she got involved in what she's involved in now. Mm-hmm. And, you know, now I go to Muddy Water, which is amazing. I go to drag shows. I'm at varieties all the time, you know, all the burlesque stuff. And mm-hmm. it's opened my eyes to a lot of stuff. And it's, you know, I don't, I don't care what side of the fence you're on, if you're red or blue. I don't care if you're a guy, girl. I don't care if you're gay or straight or bi, whatever. Mm-hmm. If you're a good person, we're cool. Man, that's all. I'll the, be that's, your best friend. That's all it takes, dude. It's, it's sometimes it's just a it's a it's a war, it's a warm smile and it's a mm-hmm. kind heart and it's doing what's right and it's leaving your mind up to understanding, yep. understanding the way that we are all so different. Mm-hmm. But man, that doesn't mean that we have to be so divided. No, I, I hate it. I like literally hate it. Yeah, I, I, I've been, th- I've learned my lessons about different things and what I thought and what I felt, and I just caught Another that night. bitch, dude, like so nonchalant. <laughs> but there's another one, damn it, dude! I just fucking grabbed him and dumped him, baby. <laughs> like that felt good. There you go. Uh, um, Got them reflexes. But uh, dude, that was the slowest <laughs> reflex ever. I just nabbed him up out of the air. Like I was picking an apple off a tree. <laughs> um. But there is it's it's just a it's a confusing thing where you you have to be a you either ha, you have to be you have to agree or be an enemy. Yeah, that's and all it that, ever is. And that's not that's not right. It is not right. And like listen, I I know like a lot of people are sharing stuff right now that like is about um how men leave comments on women's posts that like fat shame them or like That's stuff. terrible. I too. just, and that is fucking awful. But you know, what's even more awful, hmm. like not, not more awful. I'm sorry for saying that. But what's awful for me hmm. is like, dude, I'm not a guy that would ever say that. No. So when you say men, yeah. you like, I feel like it just like lumps me in and like, and people are like, well, then you're guilty of it. And right. no, I'm not, dude. Check my track record. Yeah. Dude, I love everybody. Yeah, I do. hate getting pulled in as like um, – like, dude, like all this stuff like the Roe v. Wade. Mm-hmm. When I, I totally agree, dude. Men shouldn't have an opinion on, no, oh, oh, on a woman's body. Totally agree. Um, but then when they say it's all, this is white men, this is what white men do. Like, dude, no, it's not like, and that's, that is who I am. So like, I don't, I don't want to be like, it's the, it's, you can say it's the awful white men Mm -hmm. or like, or the sick white men, but don't just say like, you don't want to be lumped into this group. No, nobody does. And there's a million different worlds. Like I get it, dude. We are like, uh, what we 
were hundreds of years ago have been awful for a million different types of people. Yeah. But that is not what you and I are now. Not at all. Not, no, at all. not like that we've ever been that way, but like I'm right. saying like that no, as we sit here today in the present. Right. No, I can't stand lumping all Christians. You know, I get, you know, there's terrible Christians. There's, you know, terrible conservatives. There's terrible gay, gay people too, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. You know, don't lump. And, you know, if I had a bad experience with whatever, I wouldn't say all blanks are terrible people because of this one thing. Mm-hmm. That's, I, I hate that. But I do not judge no matter what. It, it's, it's a tough, tough, it's a tough, tough thing. And, you know, even like when you, you kind of step out of the box, even like in a conversation like this, you may have a couple people go like, oh, spark their head. Like, well, what are you saying? And what I'm saying mm-hmm. is like, what we're both saying is I love, like, I really care about everybody. I do. I do. I mean, and you can ask Mac tomorrow what she, you know, what she what she would say about me. Mm-hmm. You know, I will do anything I can for my friends and everybody I hang out with and bottoms up everywhere else. Those are my friends. That's my family. I don't want to be laying at my funeral and everybody say he was just another piece of shit white man. Fucking piece of shit. Like, I mean, I would – like, what I actually want is I want, like, a open casket buffet. Yeah. 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 My funeral, I've already told Stacy, nobody's allowed to dress up. If anybody wears ties, you cut them off. See? And I want a popcorn machine and I want a can- cotton candy maker. Um. So that way everybody has that and everybody just chills. Um, so t- Tim Reed's mom, um, she was working the concession stands at a um, at a like junior high basketball game or something at one point, mm-hmm. way back when, and she had smashed her thumb and it was like really like it was getting pretty bad. And so she, you know, she still had to go work. She still she had right. signed up for this, and she was uh, getting people popcorn and scooping it. And one time, <laughs> and one time she pulled the bag up. And the nail decided to part ways. Oh, she could never find it. <laughs> That's disgusting. It's a true story. That is super disgusting. It's a true story. You can walk right upstairs, ask T, and she'll tell you 100% a true story. That's terrible. Uh, so, like, uh, okay, so your your dream job was fighter pilot. Mm-hmm. Um, but, like, what? Like, today? I know what you're – see, that's what makes this – I don't want to say it because I already know. You just want to sit in your house and fucking game all day. Yeah, I want to be know? a gamer. But like was there was there something – is it now the fighter pilot, was that like as you were a kid growing yeah, up and yeah. that's what fueled that mm-hmm. to get into the military and – I mean I've always been a military. I'm pro, very, 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 very pro-military. I've mm-hmm. always been that way. I was raised that way. My dad was a Marine. I uh, was in Vietnam. So – I've always been raised around that, so that's just what I wanted to do. Mm-hmm. So it's it's cool. I was, you know, you get into the '80s movies, you know, where you have, you know, the Commandos, and Arnold Schwarzenegger's, and all those, and or the Rambo's, and oh, yeah, how dude. cool it is. You know? Oh yeah, yeah. You get a Bowie knife and oh. get your own M60, and you can ride on the side of helicopters. Absolutely, dude. Oh wait, power will be turned off. I'm not. So what, oh oh, we must have hit a button on the thing. Oops. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah. Um, see, I, um, I don't know what I, well, when I was a kid, I wanted to go to college for like cinematography or mm-hmm. astronomy mm-hmm. and, uh, be cool. I didn't have enough money to even buy a camera. So there you go. <laughs> cinematography and astrology. <laughs> I didn't have enough money to do. And I oh, wasn't, oh. and I wasn't smart enough. I just read a few Stephen Hawking's <laughs> books and I could recite them. So I thought that really? was enough, but like, Oh yeah. Word for word. Um, and then, and then I became obsessed with Ray Kurzweil and Ray Kurzweil. When I was growing up as I was 18 to 19, I don't know why I connected with what his theory was, but what he was trying to do is he was trying to transcend human biology. And he, what he was, what he wanted to do is he had created, he had taken journals, home video, and all of these different things and recordings of his dad. Mm -hmm. And he had put them... Do you know who Ray Kurzweil is? No. Um, Maybe I'll send you off with a book. Okay. Uh, But you won't read it. Audio book. I'll show you with audio book. But what he wanted to do is he wanted to take a robot, AI, Mm -hmm. and in the future... Now, think... This is years ago, like 12, 13 years ago. He wanted to put all these memories, thoughts, and feelings home videos and everything into an AI source and plug it into the back of this robot. Robocop. And get his dad back. Oh. And he's done it. 
Has he really? Yeah, I mean, like, there's kinks in the system, but he's going to complete it by the time he dies. You're going to be able to upload a lost one and have, but like, I mean, there's so much detail. Like, it's it's not real, and it's 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 a sickening. It's a, I, I would never do that. Well, you know, I would do it just like I, okay. So like, I would put you like on like paralyzed mode. Mm -hmm. I'd just like slap you around a little I was bit. Like, say, oh, you're so much bigger. If it's than a me. sex doll of my wife, then fine. <laughs> yeah, dude, I might turn. So I might upload you just to have you as a sex doll. I'd be like, I knew you wanted this, Mike. You know, there you go. Fuck you. Let's do it to Brad. <laughs> oh, dude, we'll get Brad ones. That would be. A, oh, we'll both get. No, we don't need two of them. We can just get one of them. Like, <laughs> why fair. would we waste like what six hundred billion dollars each? <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. But uh, it, it is such a weird thing, and it's a dangerous thing because, I mean, we can out we can, um, well, I, AI can outgrow us. Well, there, if we can make it smart enough, then it can advance on its own. There was an article. I watch a ton of YouTube. I saw something about somebody warned that an AI robot has emotions now. Uh, <clears throat> so I mean, that's I robot. Have you ever seen that? Yeah. Oh, I'm surprised. You're surprised I've seen that one. Yeah. I'm just a Will Smith, fan. Will oh, Smith fan. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, but it's 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 scary in the sense that you're going to love. It, is it weird to say that it may or may not have real feelings back? Uh, because who is to say what real feelings are? Because essentially, we're kind of just like robots, dude. We are so non-existent. I mean, think about us. We're one in. Five billion people, or whatever. We're like we're a speck of sand on the spectrum of the universe. Very like what, so. whatever. Like, d how much do we all even really matter? In the grand, in our little bubble, you matter a lot. Yeah, that, that is the in craziest our, in thing. Our little bubble. Yeah, that is the craziest thing. How important people can mean to us, right. but how unimportant people are. Yeah, no, we we throw people away. Who cares? Maybe <sighs> just, I mean. How many five billion people on the? I don't know what it is on this planet, but yeah, I mean, hundred thousand people, five a million people die a day, two million. I don't know. <sighs> and yeah, nobody, yeah, nobody cares. You can just sit there <laughs> and watch. That little bubble. You have you have you have you ever done the pick your death day? Hmm. Oh, let's find this fucking app real quick, <laughs> dude. Let's pick both of our death days real quick. <laughs> well, how do I pick my death day thing? Thing. <laughs> My dead dad. Uh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> My death day thing. Okay. I mean, it's going to be great if mine's today. Um, okay, so let's see. I think you can just click, like, click and it should just. Nah, damn it. All right. I thought it was going to be way easier than that. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is. Death day. All right. I'll start downloading the app before we wrap this thing up. It'll, right. it'll be ready to go. Um, if you're just today, I'm fuck. I'm, I'm freaking the fuck out, dude. I mean, like we're gonna leave you. We're gonna leave you in the living room for a while. That's yeah. all right. Use it. Well, you know, use it while you got it. Oh, dude, it says you need to be sure that you're in your right mind to click this. So you need to click it. Death day ca calculator. Okay, I understand. Oh, it's gonna make you put information in. Oh, Please do not scroll through that history. You will be horrified. No, I won't be horrified. And so will my employers. <laughs> <laughs> Was this a work phone? No. Well, I guess kind of. It's just my personal phone, but they pay me extra to oh, have gotcha. it be my work phone. Man. Oh. Yeah, like I, do, I – would you actually want to know the day that you're going to die? I'm going to find out. Like I think that I would. Because then I know that like I can blow every dollar that I have and and I'm not leaving Timmy with anything or the children like oh shit oh shit oh dude I got thirty three more years left thirty three that'll put you at ninety seven seven uh, oh. <laughs> eighty <laughs> holy shit eighty yeah damn dude you're doing good okay so now I got to do mine yep hey dude while while we're doing that will you plug your will you plug your Twitch stream yeah yeah uh, it's Twitch TV slash Big Yeti B-I-G-Y-E-H-T-I. -E uh, YouTube channel is the same. It's just Big Yeti, B-I-G-Y-E-H-T-I. -E and those links are going to be attached down below. Um, it's all new stuff. I'm learning how to edit. I'm learning how to do this. So if you do follow, if you do like, comment, or anything, let me know what you like. Let me know what you want to change. Hell yeah. Okay. Um, so awkward. Um, um, yeah, sometimes. Um, yeah, yeah, daily. Oh, my gosh. There's so many. How would you do it so fast, dude? Um, good with my fingers. Man, um, and this is the most important question. How, are you actually bald? 
<laughs> so you can grow like because I've seen pictures I have full of you wearing head hair, and so you just prefer that. Mm -hmm. You got a nice shape to your head. You know how hideous mine is, mm -mm. dude. Even when it starts, is that why you wear a hat all the time? All the time. Well, but even it's in falling the hot out. tub, you wear a hat. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, what is job nature? Desk work. Yeah, that's not works for me. Work out. <laughs> I guess we'll say it. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> all right, let's see what I get. Um, please enter. Oh, I gotta enter my name. What the hell? Like you had to enter amateur. your name? Mm -hmm. What'd you just enter, Mike? Oh, Bone Daddy. <laughs> uh, dude, and you didn't think that you were nervous about this. Dude, we blew through an hour and 10 minutes. And I know, then, that's crazy. And like, we didn't, I don't even feel like we got started. I just stopped shaking like 20 minutes ago. I, I know. I, I noticed that a couple of, It won't even let me do it. <laughs> like, I'm so nervous. My mouth has just been dry the entire time. So I'm sorry if I... You're, <laughs> the whole time. Dude, it was just a little bit of peanut butter. That's all right. Um, well, hey, let's wrap this thing up. I've got oh, I got a half hour, so we made it solid. Um, Shot 30 podcast is available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, Castbox, YouTube. Mike will be back. Follow Mike on all those links. And uh and you honestly, you'll probably catch us uh playing We'll get like the Elgato thing hooked up and yeah. put it through the podcast and yeah. we'll just play a fucking game together. And, no. and honestly, I just need to get a game because I can play any game. You know, I was just mm -hmm. playing fucking Stray about a yeah. stray cat. And Stacy uh, wants to get that. Well, I mean, she could just borrow the PS5 and play it so she doesn't have, have to pay PS5. for it. I mean, it's only 30 bucks. I ain't worried about it. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. yeah. You know, but we'll fucking find a game and then our Twitch stream will be riding yeah. on the same together. You, you like shooters? Um, yeah, like Fireball or like Tequila? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Or like, are we talking about like school? No, like, no, no, <laughs> no. Jesus. No, 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 no. Like, shooter games. Yeah, yeah, I know, I, I, got, I, know, I know what you were talking right. about. No, I know, I know. No, I know. <laughs> All right, well, we'll, we'll get, we'll be on there. He'll be back soon, but this is, him. he'll. Yeah, I'm a he, him. Those this are my pronouns. I got, do I have to clip that? Damn it. I probably have to clip that. Damn it. <laughs> this is Shot 30 Podcast. I am Shay Newbert. And this is Shot 30. Please like, share, subscribe, tell your friends. Shot 30 Podcast is available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, CastBox, YouTube, all those things. And yeah. Hey, we're pumping them out, baby. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening, as always. Thank you. Wow.